The last behavioral strategy is physical exercise. So two things are known about people who are depressed. One is they have a smaller hippocampus. The hippocampus regulates mood. Exercise has been shown to promote nerve cell growth and size of the hippocampus, improving nerve cell connections, and this helps relieve depression. Exercise also releases endorphins. Endorphins have morphine receptors. Endorphins are our body's natural morphine, painkiller, feel-good chemical. We can produce this just by being physically active. This is what's commonly known as runner's high. Two kinds of exercise are recommended, both for treating depression, preventing depression, and for overall longevity. One is aerobic exercise, simply 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise suffices. And all this has to mean is 30 minutes of day, a day walking outside. This is one of those scheduling activities that you enjoy. This is one of those ways of getting sunlight to help improve serotonin and sleep. And the other form of activity, physical exercise that's recommended, in addition to aerobic exercise, is resistance training. The goal is two sessions per week. My favorite way of getting this goal is yoga. My favorite app for yoga is called Down Dog. There's also the Home Workout app, which is more like a traditional weightlifting program, but uses your own body weight. Both forms of exercise improve mood, improve brain function at the hippocampus, and allow for the release of endorphins to create that runner's high.